them go to Tampa, um, but it's a special day. It's a Tampa Bay Waves Tech Diversity Cohort Demo Day, and it'll be a good group of folks there. Some great companies. We're quite familiar with them. We've filmed them in a couple different iterations, but I like to support Wave with all their bigger events. And so I'm making the drive over. Um, yesterday we posted a snippet from the Rising Tide event last Friday, and the panel was asked what we look for most in a company, a, start, a startup company to invest in. Um, and I think you know, whether you're building a company or investing in a company, for me, uh, gravity is, is, is what I look for. And that's, that's a variation on cost of customer acquisition. Gravity are elements that make a business attractive without them having to work to be that. And there's work up front, but um, you know, I think as I explained the elements of gravity, that'll become a little more clear. Um, first element of gravity is the value proposition has to have clear and self-evident value so that if you do get in front of a, a custom, potential customer, that it's clear that they have a reason to give you some more of their attention, to dig a little deeper, to give you some more of their time to explain your, your business. And then once they're in and you've earned that attention, that has to be uh, a great user experience so that you don't have to sell them again to come back or to reinteract with your property or your business, excuse me. If you've got a business that should be a fit for them, it must not require more resources to get them to stay because it's hard enough to get attention and customers the first time around. If you get them and you have to pay, put resources into keeping them or getting them to come back, then you're, you're really sledding a pill. Um, and that, and that, the elements of that can be, are twofold. One, it's it's the value of the product and service, but it's also their experience. So you can have a, a you know an app or a website or a product uh, that works for them, but if their process of getting to enjoy it, to get through the buy process, to get through um, you know ordering or whatever is rough, then you could lose them for reasons that are that are about operations or about user experience and not necessarily about your product or service. And then ideally, once they're in and they have they're staying in without requiring additional resources, it's good enough that they want to share it. The same logic, it's hard enough to acquire, if you have to acquire every single customer one by one on your on your own dime, then you're really setting a pill compared to products that are shareable, that uh, you know, once people have it, they get it, and they want to, they want to tell their friends about it or, or, uh, you know, or give it love on social media or whatever. And then finally, uh, you know, understand that the value experience is more than just the product. It's how you make them feel. Um, it, it may be uh, an angle or a connection. That could be a charity that the, the event, the, excuse me, the business supports. That could be the ambience of a restaurant. That could be a celebrity that's attached to it. That could be clever advertising. That could be a clever partnership. Um, you know, things that, that make someone come back to your business it can be about your business, but it can also be any number of other things. Uh, so you never know where the gravity will come from, but you just know you have to have it.